What do you think about the relaxed dress code? Do you love it? Do you hate it? <laughs> I hate it. Am you I do? Not? Scott, it is so great to see your face. And I have to say, the last time we saw each other, and you were wondering about this, it was at Scotiabank Arena. It was earlier on in the regular season, and you were beaming. I'm talking, you had a smile from ear to ear. You were rocking a vintage Leafs Toronto Arena jersey and you had a crew around you there was energy in the building how much do you just miss cheering on the buds in person uh yeah it's a lot a lot you know it's, it's it's nice that at least we get a little bit of hockey but it's it makes you realize just how lucky you are to be able to go to a game and to be able to be a part of that atmosphere and um, yeah, especially when we have a team like we do right now, you know, these, these years, obviously they're bigger things at play, but these years are hard to kind of sit on the sidelines. So happy that playoffs are back. Well, not even that, just to be playing such an intense moment in the season and not having any fans in the building. Could you imagine what that would feel like? <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, have I can't even imagine, but you know what, they're... The players have handled it well, I think, and it's, it's pretty cool to see, uh, you know, during the, I guess it's the pre-playoff games, the round robin stuff, seeing some of the other players watching in their half gear. It's like, it's like summer league, but uh, with everything on the line. And I think it's about to pick up some momentum here now, and it'll be a lot of fun to watch uh, as it goes on. The fact that you recognize that we can't be in the building, you're watching games at home, who do you prefer to watch games with? Or are you the type of person where you need to be by yourself and just all dialed in? Well, now that the restrictions are loosened up a little bit, um, we're trying to do like social distancing barbecues uh, where everyone can stay apart, but still have a couple beers together. And uh, to be honest, little normal activities like that, I find are uh, psychologically necessary. Uh, it's been, it just feels good to, to do normal things again, safely, obviously, but uh, yeah, hockey being back is is a big part of that for me. There was a moment that went viral back in Pyeongchang at the Olympics, and you know the moment that I'm talking about. You're in the crowd, you're up, you're cheering for the women's team, and yeah. even Patrick Chan is like, hold on, Scott, like act like you've been there before, you know? Reel it in for a second. Is that <laughs> a live look at you when you're watching a Leaf game? Yeah, it's pretty similar. Uh, Patrick's had that look on his face around me for, for a lot of years, so I don't think <laughs> that, it's nice that it was finally uh, documented. So we're going to play a fun little segment with you. It's called Bubble Tea. So basically, we want you to spill the tea on what you think life would be like in the bubble. Are you cool with that? Oh, yeah, I'm cool with that. I think I know exactly what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the relaxed dress code? Do you love it? Do you hate it? <laughs> I hate it. Am you I do? Not? God, uh, come yeah, on. I, I think I hate it. Uh, I don't know. It's, it kind of goes back and forth. Lucky for them, I, I guess they, they have to dress uh, in a suit every day, but I mean, I like when they look like pros, show up like pros, play like a pro, but uh, I don't know, it gives them a chance to express themselves, I don't mind when they do that uh, in the NBA as well, and, uh, it, it's an important time for our generation, young people to express ourselves and, and be the change that is necessary in the world, even if people told me I, I had to, I probably would uh, still wear it. Uh, even if it came at uh, the expense of all my teammates, they'd probably give it to me pretty good. Naturally. I mean, that just happens in a competitive environment. You could never get away with anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I did like uh, uh, Morgan's pride sweater that he was rocking the one day. I love that. So uh, I'll, give, I'll give him a high five for that for sure. <laughs> but he's got good influences in his life. Ah, subtle. We won't go there. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, hypothetical scenario, you play for the Leafs, who are your two line mates? Oh gosh, that's hard. Um, thank God I covered the Morgan thing before, so now I don't have to say it now. Uh, <laughs> but I'll say uh, Mitch uh, for sure, and just think mm -hmm. he's line with him uh, at any time. And I don't know, uh, I love Johnny T. I was so, I was so happy when, uh, when he came to Toronto. and. So I'd love to play play with those two. I think I'd be in the opposite end of the rink, but being able to, I mean, those are those are two London Knights, right? So 
we give a quick shout out to the Hunter boys too for, for bringing them to the system, especially Mitch Marner. We were able to watch him play in London for so many years and uh, seeing him transfer over to Leafs, it's, it's like a, a boy from Elderton's dream come true. And he's a nice guy too, so perfect. I'd love to play with him. I think it's only fitting that we ended on this note with a little send off. Are you cool to help me out with this? You don't even know what the request is yet. I'm right. Yeah, yeah. I'm always about blindly accepting. That's how I got on this interview. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on the count of three, I want you to help me by saying, go Leafs, go. Can oh, you do I'm that? I would have ended that. Yes? Yeah. Easy. Yes. Okay. I'm in a random hotel in Northern Ontario here, so I'll see if I can't wake up the floor. I hope you get a noise complaint. Someone comes knocking on your door. They're like, what? A Leaf fan? Can we join in too? They're, yeah, I usually get noise complaints in the hotel room, so. <laughs> Life of the party. All right, yeah. ready? Yeah, One, I'm ready. Two, three, go! 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 <laughs> in it all night. Awesome. Thank you, Scott. Virtual high five. Bye. We'll see you soon. Everyone's good. Go Leaves.